Hello creators, welcome back to my channel. Today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a super cool effect in PowerDirector 365, text behind a moving object. It's coming up. Placing text behind a moving object. Now this is a very cool technique that we're gonna use that can add a little bit of professionalism to your, to your videos and it helps to make the text blend seamlessly into your scene. Are you kidding me? That... This tutorial will walk you through the whole process step by step. So let's dive right in and bring your videos to life with this awesome trick. Let's take a look. Project open here. Now, I'm gonna be using the assets that I used from last week's video tutorial. So here in my stock media, I've got these four video clips. Two of them are gonna be good for this tutorial. I'm gonna use this one and this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this first one down onto the timeline onto track one. And then I'm going to drag another copy of this onto track three because we're gonna put our text here on track two. Now, of course, we're not gonna be using masking because of its inherent boring way of doing it and it's very laborious. I'm gonna show you another very cool way to do this. And we're gonna be using the chroma key. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, we're going to use the chroma key and you're going to say, but it's all these different colors. Yes, it is. But I'm going to show you a very cool way to use it that you can actually cut out this background and leave these paragliders. I think that are they paragliders or are they just, I don't know, windsurfers, whatever they are. I think they're paragliders. I can't even remember. I don't care. Let's go to titles. Let's choose a title, something that's just obnoxious. It doesn't really matter. Balloon deflated. Let's just drop this. We're going to drop this down onto track one right here. It says Power Director. I am going to spread this out just a touch until the paraglider disappears at the screen somewhere about there. That is cool, right? Now, if we play this, of course, and we run this back, you'll see that the text is still overlaid over the top, even though we have this because we haven't done anything to cut this out yet. So if I stop that and play this, see there's no text now because this is covering the text. This is track three. So double click on track three. Double click it open. Let's go to chroma key and let's see what we can do. So the first thing is you're going to say, well, let's get rid of all that. But how are we going to get rid of the clouds and how are we going to get rid of the sky and this big blob, this white blob of light? Because it's it's got this very nice blur effect on it which chroma key can't really replicate but can it let's see so let's choose chroma key we've got right here let's choose this pipette this is what we used to call it when we were at school when i was at school it's called a pipette and now this called a color picker if i remember rightly so choose a color picker i'm just going to choose a random blue anywhere on the screen right here and you'll notice straight away that this oh what's happened there right that's gotten really nasty. Don't worry about that. We're going to change all that. So we'll take the color range and I'm going to change the color range to nine at the top. And the noise, denoise here, I'm going to take all the way up to 59. And you'll notice, see how it goes away. Look at that. So let's take all this all the way up to 59. In fact, we'll take it to 60. Let's keep them rounded. Let's keep them even, right? So we've got this set up now, and if you click OK and you look at it and you go, well, yeah, OK, and you, and you play it and you'll see that, well, it is, it's close, right? We're very close, but it needs some refinement. So make sure we click stop here. Double click our little video track on track three, double click it open, go back to chroma key. You can see here, and you can see we've got this. I'm going to click here where it says chroma key. You see this little plus sign? I'm going to click on the plus sign. And then I'm going to click the color picker again, and I'm going to choose the sun right there. And I'm going to change its properties. I'm going to change the color range all the way up to 60. So let's go all the way up. 60 is the max it's going to go to. That is very, very cool. And I'm going to change its denoise to 39. So let's go to 39. Let's leave it at 40. Let's keep everything round. You know what? Let's move that up to 10 as well. Let's make sure they're all corrected right. Very good. Now I'm going to add one more in here in a moment. So let's click on OK and see what we've got now. 
just click stop just to make sure that it's it's been set and running and there you go you see look at that it's pretty close but if you look very closely here you can see that the blue is shut and it's 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 ripped is is sale is sales ripped and we don't want that we want it to come back so let's just scoot this back a bit and look at the largest sale this one and see if we can see any imperfections on this as well and there oh there i saw a couple it's got like it's got holes in it right and there oh yeah you can see there look it's it's kind of perforated so we're gonna to have to try and fix that as well right so press stop on our board here go back to track three double click this open like this go back into chroma key and the plus sign we're going to click it one more time move this down now you can only have three colors available you can't click we can't add add infinitum here it, it it just doesn't work so the last one click the color picker and we're going to click another white and we're going to choose the cloud here right there I'm going to set its properties to 20. I'm going to type these in just so it makes it easier. And I'm going to change this to 12. And I'm going to click OK. So now we've got it all set up. We're going to go back in there and we're going to mess around now with the options on those three colors that we've chosen. Now click stop just to make sure it's selected. Click play and then go see. Oh, I saw it right there. There's something missing right about there I can see right here look that it's coming through see that so we need to correct that so while we've got it selected right here double click our track 3 go into chroma key right here and now we play around with these denoise and color ranges so we've got white here so let's try this start from the bottom and work our way up until we find out which one it is so let's go here let's move the denoise does that do anything that does literally nothing on this piece so i'm going to put that all the way back down to where it was we'll leave it at 15 now and change that let's change the color range let's see we've got with color range that doesn't do a lot either we might be able to get rid of this one actually i'm going to leave that at 20 now because i I'm, i don't notice anything but we you're going to have to check it when we get to this one as well to make sure we've got it. So let's check this one now. Let's go to Denoise and move that in. Ah, there you see. Look, Denoise. See that? It's made it more bigger right here. So let's drop Denoise down until the perforations just disappear on our paraglider. Very nice. What about the color range? Let's try the color range. See if that has any effect actually does have quite a bit of effect i can just see a small speck right there in the paraglider i'm going to bring that down let's take it to 50 that's looking good i'm happy with that now we can play it here and then carry on doing it this way so we don't have to keep going click ok and going back so let's carry on from here let's click play and go forward and backwards using our next frame using our full stop on our keyboard or and a, and, and the comma to go backwards so we're pressing a full stop and we're going one frame at a time just to see what we've got is there anything there's a little bit right there at the top of the power of the sail see that and the edges are looking a bit nasty try the bottom one again see if that makes any difference the bottom one doesn't seem to be doing anything at all we might actually need to change this color so let's try changing this color to something very close to where the holes are on the sail something about there and you can see it's popped this open so let's try the color range and let's drop the color range down all the way down that's gone all the way out i'm going to bring this back up and let's try the denoise feature and drop the denoise down that's brought it down a little bit more this is bringing it down this actually doesn't seem to be doing a lot i think we can actually dismiss this one let's try a different color for this let's go somewhere here let's try this color range that's doing nothing that's doing nothing one more time somewhere in a very very light blue right close to the sail in fact let's get it right close to where that is let's click on that 
let's try the color range again see what happens uh yeah this is a bust i think on this one we're not getting much anything from this at all on this like oh there you see it is actually ca causing something but it's causing that at the top there i don't like that i'm going to set all these back to zero just for now before we delete it in fact we'll delete it now what the hell we don't actually need that so let's go to our second one let's check the the denoise on this let's go down let's go up see up brings it up let's go down that actually brings takes away the sun we don't want that let's go there let's try the color range is that doing anything that's getting rid of the sun as well so this one is affecting mostly the sunlight so let's go back to 60 on this take it all the way up and bring this back up to 39 or 40 whereabouts where we were let's that drop the denoise down because you can see we've got the sales come back in again let's cut that back down we'll take it down to 20. so now we've got to go on this one let's have a look at the denoise on this can we do there it goes right there you can see it right here if i drop the denoise down a little bit bada boom bada bing it's gone let's go forward with our full stop key see where we're going with this is there any more coming in now we do have a problem here houston with this one so we'll we'll come back to that one let's concentrate on this one for the moment let's just zoom it along a little bit see how it looks that is looking pretty cool i'm very happy with that we've managed to retain everything so nothing shows through however this one is causing us a few problems so let's just drop it back a little bit so we can see there you go you can see it's got owls here on the blue which of course is this now if we add another blue in here another keyframe we maybe go but can we use this blue again denoise it let's see what happens that's nasty we don't want to be messing around with that too much let's see and now if you go too much with the denoise our paraglide on this one is disappearing now so let's go back here let's take it back all the way down that's looking good so it's the color range is the problem there you go take the color range a little bit more 627 is looking pretty sweet for me i kind of like that and there you go you've used chroma key to actually put text behind a moving object let's just click stop let's click play and see what we've got how very cool we have paragliders and text behind <laughs> i bet you didn't know you could do that with chroma key right okay let's finish this one up and we're going to use the background removal tool cyberlinks version of this horrendous let's bring in our other video clip now that we've got this one set up so let's go here to media and we're going to back into stock media i'm going to use this i'm going to bring it over here like so double click it so we get our playhead come to the beginning right here and we've got this little kid uh he's on a wakeboard is it a wakeboard uh i think it's a wakeboard right so we've got a little kid on our wakeboard right here let's bring another copy back down uh, drop it here onto track three exactly the same as what we're doing we're going to take this text i'm just going to drag it across <laughs> i'm not going to keep clicking and messing around so let's just drag it across and we'll use it for this little video clip here right here and what we're going to use it for now is, is we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to use the background removal tool so i'm going to double click on track one and press the home key on my keyboard it'll bring the playhead to the beginning right here make sure we're on track three of course because track three is the one we're going to be using and we want to go to a background removal tool which is here it's and you just click on background removal tool. now will it recognize this because this is kind of small and the background removal tool really it's it says here only human figures can be cut out which it's a bit of a lie to be honest because if you've got something quite big here in in the in the foreground it will actually recognize it so it's not necessarily true that human figures can be used so let's just click on this and see what it does now of course you can't see anything's happened because we've got a video here on track one so click on the little eye just to disable this track and see 
Oh, and there we go. A pretty nasty effect. There's a little, there's some artifacts there as well. Now we've got edge thickness and edge feather we can mess around with, but we can't really do anything special with this. So let's try the edge thickness and bring that up a little bit. Um, yeah, why is it recognizing that piece of post there? I don't understand that. So we're going to have to drop this back down. Let's try the edge feather a little bit. Let's see what happens there. That sharpens it up a little bit. And there we go. I think, I think this is an absolute mess, to be honest. My version with the chroma key seems to have been a much better way to do this. But we'll see when we come back to it. Let's click this back on and we've got our text. Let's click stop. Let's click play and see what we've got. Now it does kind of get error over the text. It is kind of there. You can see it's it's <laughs> it's not good. It is it's the board disappears. Um yeah, it's I I'm having trouble with that, definitely. Yeah, that, um, yeah. The chroma key seems to be a pretty good one. Can we use chroma key on this? I don't know. Let's try. Let's bring this back to the beginning. Let's press home on our keyboard. Let's, let's get rid of the background removal tool. I don't want to use that. Let's try chroma key on this one. Click on chroma key. Here we go. We've got chroma key here. We're going to choose a color. I'm going to choose this, this watercolor here for this. And we're going to just mess around with all these settings. I'm going to actually place these about the same we had in our first clip, which was about 10 and about 60, which is quite high. That Let's drop that back down. 60. We just can't get it on those numbers, right? So there's our first one. I'm going to click OK. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this off a minute so I can see just so I can see what we've got missing here. So you can see this. So let's double click this again. Let's take our chroma key. See, now we've got visually more. Let's take a look at the color range. Let's drop the color range down. Oh, we're doing well with the color range. That is not too bad at all, but it seems to be losing a little bit of our little guy there. So let's take it to about there. I'm going to add another one keyframe. Use the color picker, get rid of this get rid of this. Let's use the color range to get rid of all the green. That is pretty, pretty cool. Let's denoise it a little bit. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that is better. Let's denoise this bit. See if we can get this to come back a little bit. That's cool as well. One more and see if we can get rid of the sky. In fact, I don't think we actually need to get rid of the sky, to be honest, because the text is going to be over and we want this guy to be cut out. So let's choose this more of this water area, a little bit darker area here like this. And let's denoise that a little bit. Let's take the color range up a little bit more. Oh, it's getting rid of the sky as well, but it's keeping the guys pretty sweet, right? So let's denoise it a little bit. Let's try that. Let's click on OK. Let's see what we've got with Chroma Key on this video. I'll click that. That is pretty nasty. We'll come back and fix that in a moment. Let's see what we've got. See what happens. OK, we need some we need to fix this up a little bit. So let's double click this. Go back. Chroma Key. And let's mess around now with some of these settings. I can get rid of that. That seems to get rid of it. What about the color range? The color range doesn't seem to be doing anything on that at all. I'm going to leave it at that. Let's try this color range. Wait a minute. We've lost some text. Let's try that. Let's denoise this color range and say, ah, that's bringing our text back a little bit, right? Let's take this up to 60. Let's go one down. Let's try this color range. And this gets rid of the text altogether. Now you can see the inerrant problems that we've got with this. That seems to have brought it back a little bit. Let's try this one. Color range. Can we get it to come back? 
we seem to be having a lot of problems here. So you can see that this is not is inherently not good for all video types. That is mass murdered it. It's, it's we're getting the obviously same problems using chroma key. That seems to have brought it down a little bit. Can we just get this to come back in a little bit? Would you notice that when it's flying over it? I don't know. Let's try and see what we've got here. Let's click OK. Let's go back to the beginning and play it again and see what we've got. It, yeah, it's exactly the same as it is with the background removal tool. Very difficult because of the different color tones of the water and the, and the, the kid here. So it's, it's definitely a, a, a thing you want to try with your own videos and see what works for you, what doesn't work for you. If you've got a larger object here in the front, I would highly recommend that. Just click home. If you've got a larger object here, I would highly recommend you use a background removal tool. If you're still having problems with that, you could actually use a background removal tool, uh, export your video, bring it back in, and then try it again with the chroma key. But after having done all that and messing around and everything else, would it be easier to just use a mask and cut it out with a mask? Because the the time saving, messing around with these and the, the background removal tool is, um, yeah. A personal preference for me, I would use a mask. Simple as that, because th these these are just options that I'm, I'm showing you that maybe you can. The reason being is because um, PowerDirector doesn't have a cutout tool like CapCut and other programs, which is a shame because it definitely needs it. But give it a try yourself. See what it looks like on your videos. If this helps, brilliant. If it doesn't, and if you try it with, oh, with the background mover tool, if it's still the same, then your only option left is masking. And there we go. But the chroma key was a very good idea. This one was pretty cool. I gotta, I gotta admit. <laughs> chroma key. Who would have guessed it? Give it a try yourself on your own videos. Let's see what you can come up with. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about this tutorial. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now is a good time to do so. I upload every week, so the best way to see them, of course, is via subscription. Don't forget to turn on all notifications. Thank you for watching this video. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.